People sometimes ask me, do I really need a realtor? My wife and I, so we've lived uh, in Evergreen for a little while, and uh, we had a house just uh, actually up the street here on Douglas Park, and uh, we were looking at looking at selling it. So we got a, you know, obviously a bunch of offers and accepted one. Then the interesting part came around. The, there was some floods going on. So we got just an epic amount of rain. It was unbelievable, right? The inspection was done. The, the appraisal was done. Everything was in cruise control. And then this happened. The groundwater had come up so high that it was coming up through the foundations of folks' houses. So we have water coming up downstairs in three different portions of the house. He just put in this beautiful hardwood floors that the buyers uh, were so excited about. So our thought was right away, great, we're not gonna be able to sell this house. They were stressed out. They, they didn't know if ripping out the floor was going to keep the buyer excited about purchasing the home. I called Chris and I said, hey man, how? I think we're in a really pretty bad spot here. I don't know if this is really gonna work out because I'm gonna have to tear out all of this wood floor that I just put in, which was pretty devastating and frustrating. And he's like, no, just stick with it. Get the water out of the house. Stick with it. I'm gonna make sure that the buyers and the agents involved are still motivated to close and we're gonna get the deal done. You could tell that Chris definitely instilled confidence within the, the buyer that uh, the house was still in good condition because he'd also been through the process with us on, on how we were taking care of the house. When I communicated with the, the buyers and the buyer agent on the other side, when I told them up front that water was seeping up, they knew the floor was coming up. We negotiated a fair deal, uh, a concession that everybody was, was comfortable with. So he was able to instill confidence in them that uh, it was a good, still a good purchase. That instilled confidence in us that it was going to work out, and it, and it did. So it was a traumatic experience, if you will, from, from our standpoint, but the result was excellent, and it wouldn't have happened if we didn't have Chris on our team.